A photo by Alman Code in the spring of 2023, I, Alexander, a photography collector, chanced upon an antique market in a small town. In a dusty corner, I discovered an old camera covered in grime. The camera bore no brand, no indication of its age. What piqued my interest, however, was an undeveloped film inside. I secured it for a mere 50 euros. Upon returning home, I immediately developed the film. The photo that revealed itself was astounding. It appeared as if stained by murky water, faded and unclear. The picture displayed seven individuals dressed in ancient garb, each holding a blurry object, resembling pumpkins. Yet, what sent chills down my spine was their eyes. Though their faces were obscured, their eyes were pitch black and piercing. With years of collecting experience behind me, I knew this was no ordinary photograph. My online search bore no fruit, prompting a personal visit to the local archives. There, with the aid of a magnifying glass, I discerned a badge on the chest of the person at the bottom left, inscribed with a W. After some digging, I identified it as the emblem of the Winter family. The Winters had mysteriously vanished one clear autumn day after pumpkin picking. Curiosity led me to the derelict winter residence, perched atop a hill, now ensnared by wild vegetation and creeping vines. As dusk approached, I stumbled upon a diary written in red ink and, fortuitously, a half-burnt candle nearby. On September 29, 1883, every member recounted the same dream, engulfed in thick fog. They were photographed by a faceless stranger with an enigmatic camera. The dream's depiction of the photographic equipment eerily matched the camera I had purchased. The wind began howling, doors and windows creaked, and the candle was soon extinguished. I hastily retreated from the eerie house, resolving to resume my research the next day. Ancient documents in the archives hinted that the Winter family might have been ensnared by a soul catcher who, using a unique camera, trapped souls within photos. County records indicated that every century, a soul catcher was executed and buried in an unmarked grave identifiable only by a lone iron nail. Behind an abandoned church, I found a rusted nail, presumably marking the soul catcher's grave. Compelled by an unknown force, I touched the nail with my left index finger. Standing in front of the soul catcher's resting place, I aimed my camera at the winter family photo and pressed the shutter. Nothing seemed to miss. However, upon redeveloping the photograph at home, a horrifying scene greeted me. The objects in the seven individuals' hands were not pumpkins, but their own severed heads. What terrorized me further was the addition of an eighth figure in the photo, unmistakably. It was me.